Hey there, and welcome to the ClickSend platform. It is now time to try your first campaign. You've got some free credits in your account, and I'm going to show you how to add some recipients so you can send some messages. In the contact link on the top left, you'll be able to set up your first list. Lists are where you upload contacts. Think of a list as a list of prospects or a list of customers, and you can create as many lists as you want. These lists can carry up to 20,000 contacts, so go ahead and add some lists. Let's add a test list. Now, when we do this and open it up, we'll be able to import contacts. The more tedious way to do it is to do it manually by adding contacts and typing them in. The faster way, of course, is to sync them from Salesforce or HubSpot or even your Google account. But one of the common ways to get contacts into your dashboard is by importing an Excel or a CSV file. So we'll click on upload and I'll find my contact list here and I'll import it. Now what you'll see as a final step here is I have to map my columns to certain fields. So I'll have to uh, teach the dashboard to remember which field is uh, calling for which uh, data point. In this case, it's easy for phone. I called it phone, first name is first name. But for some fields that are more unique to your business, uh, you may want to use the custom string. So in this case, my spreadsheet had a birth date or a job name that I'll use for custom string one. Think of it as an insert that you'll be able to put in your message without recalling a specific job name. You'll be able to call the job name of that contact. Think of it as this example. Hey, first name, congratulations on your new role as custom string one. That way you don't have to fill in the exact uh, title, you'll be able to call in uh, the title of that specific person in your contact list. Once you click confirm and you've mapped out all your fields, you're ready to go and you now have a list of contacts to send messages to.